to our vlog. So, yeah, hello guys. Uh, for today's vlog, I'm going to um, show you on how we um, book or do the DIY to Humalig Island. So, this is another travel vlog for today's video. Alright, so um, if you have or if you're going to plan to visit Humalig Island guys or Jumalig Island, sobrang good siya lalo na now na summer na so March, April, May um, the best siya na um, magbook kayo or magreserve kayo ng slot nyo going to Humalig and much better if you do DIY or if you have a group na magpaplan kayo to visit Humalig much better to lessen the expenses so lahat ng travel vlog natin for today or lahat ng travel vlog natin na ipopost ko is uh, do it yourself or DIY lang but I do um, you know I do organize a climb or um, travel somewhere if you wanted to do like beach or sa um, bundok and uh, nag-organize din ako but right now all i can say is to how to diy humalig island so this is it guys so from if you're from manila um much better kasi um from your area going to um ligarda so meron sila dong bus terminal na na going to a uh, real quezon or papuntang humalig so, from there, um, pwede kayong mag-grab or mag-angkas lang going to Ligarda. And then, Ligarda ba rin? Yeah. Yeah, may terminal dun sa Ligarda. And ipopost ko dito sa video natin on how you can check the the bus na pwede niyong um, sakyan going to Real Quezon. So, bus fare pag non-aircon, um, 235 pesos with aircon is 300 to 350. So, konting difference lang niya. Pwede ka rin sa aircon if you wanted to do the ordinary lang. So, the travel time is 3 to 4 hours from Manila to Real Quezon. And then, from port um, terminal, um, magbabayad kayo ng 10 pesos para sa terminal fee. And then, aside from that, um, 500 pesos sa boat. So, balikan ng boat is, or round trip is 1,000 pesos. And then, aside from the terminal fee, the boat fee, pagdating nyo sa mismong humalig, um, you need to rent a trike or a tricycle or motorcycle. It's 70 pesos going to the um, going to the hostel or the accommodation na nabook nyo. Much better if uh, mag-check kayo sa Facebook kung gusto nyo nang um, may mapag stayhan pagdating nyo sa humalig. So what I did is actually nag-search lang ako ng mga hostel na pwede nating um, na nag-accommodate ng mga DIY travelers. So, Spear Beach Resort, yun yung inaccommodate sila yung nag-accommodate sa amin. And good thing about sa kanila is, actually, meron silang 500 na kubo. Marami silang options if ano yung gusto mo. Um, since dalawa lang kami ng friend ko, nag-try kami dun sa 500 pesos lang for an, a night. But it's already full, so we decided dun sa 1,000 pesos per night. And we booked there for two nights, so that cost us 2,000 pesos and it will be divided into two persons. And from there, sa, <clears throat> sa airport, or sa airport, sa port, um, yun, sumakay na kami, pupunta ng Spear Beach, and nandun yung reservation namin, and yun, um, with our homestay and everything. Ang maganda dun sa pinagbukan namin is um, beachfront siya. So, um, from the homestay, diretso lang kayo dun sa beach kung gusto niyo mag-swimming, swimming. swimming. Uh, maganda na nga siya, kahit hindi na kayo mag-tour around, ma much better na din. But anyways, what we did is, the first day, nag-swimming, swimming lang kami dun sa harap ng uh, beach resort namin. Nag-enjoy lang namin yung entire island talaga, entire Humalig Island. Uh, which is good, na-refresh kami and all. And then, the next morning, um, we already contract um, habal-habal. So, that cost us 800 pesos. 800 pesos for um, per person. So, the 800 pesos will actually includes everything dun sa itinerary nyo na mapupuntahan nyo. So, the first island hopping na pinuntahan namin or island, yeah, island hopping is the Little Batanes. Sobrang nakaka-amaze siya. Ang ganda ng aura, ang ganda ng beach niya. Tapos may mga rock formation din siya the other side and then may Bali, Bali um, experience din siya the other side of the mountain. Tapos sa uh, gitna niya is um, is beach actually so makakapag-relax ka so I decided to palipad the drone but unfortunately 
um, nasira yung phone na supposedly magpapalipad tayo. Kaya babalik kami doon and DIY, still DIY again. So anyways, it's Penaway Island or Little Batanes and then after that, we proceed to Little Boracay sa, or Pan Panama Beach or Pamana, Panama Beach ng Humalig. So maganda rin siya, white sand. Hindi lang masyado na-enjoy kasi tanghali na, so sobrang init talaga. But anyway, sobrang happy naman kasi ang, ang ganda nung resort, ang ganda nung sand, white sand talaga siya. Kung makavisit kayo sa Little Boracay nila, mukha talaga siyang Boracay kasi marami na ding mga foods doon na pwede kayong kumain muna or something. Ayun. So, after that, the last um, island that we um, we visit is uh, or visited is Salibungot Beach or Salibungot Beach is actually um, isa siya sa pinaka uh, magandang puntahan pag sunset. Kasi ang ganda ng sunset niya guys. Pero nung nagpunta kami, hindi kami na, hindi namin na-experience yung sunset. Pero yung sand niya is um, para siyang golden, golden sand. Kumalig is a golden, golden island or golden sand. So, um, sobrang perfect pa din ng entire stay namin doon. And buntik na kami ma-stranded kasi um, iba yung weather or iba yung ano ng boat kasi sobrang maalon. But anyways, we're safe and we're good. And that's um, all for our DIY travel. So, yung nag-cost pala ng stay namin doon since um, nagpaluto kami ng mga foods din nila, 150 per meals each person. Um, kaya umabot kami ng 3,000 to 4,000 pesos. So, 4,000 pesos at total expenses namin. Um, each yon So, nakapag-island hopping ka na, may homestay ka na, may foods ka na, and pabalik na yun ng Manila. So, good thing about it is mura na siya. Malapit lang siya sa Manila and makakapag-relax ka na. Three days, two nights. Yun yung um, ginawa namin. Pero nakakabitin man siya kasi three days lang. Pero mas maganda siguro one week magstay ka dun sa humalig. Mas ma-enjoy mo talaga siya. So anyways guys, that's it for our humalig DIY. Maraming nagre-request kasi neto, pero hindi ko, wala akong time um, na i-vlog talaga siya. So now, all the expenses, the bus fare, the boat, the trike, the island tour, and also the homestay. Or pwede ka rin mag-tent pala sa, sa Spear Beach. So mag a lang if how much is the tent, 150 I think. And then the paluto and all. So for 3 days, 2 nights, 3,500 to 4,000 per person. Alright? So sunset, one of the best sunset. So itry natin yan next na punta namin doon. Alright? So thank you guys and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Salamat sa inyong lahat. Bye-bye for now.